a little heavy. Is this guy. So this is a router from Unified. It's the newer model. It's the Unified Dream Router. Let's do the drop down here. And do I need a router? No. Do I want to play with a router? Yes. So this is pretty much everything except for your modem. So you have the device from your internet service provider. You connect that. You connect something like this depending on what you have. If you already have something that's good that covers your whole house and you're, you're fine, you don't need to mess with it. This is if you want to have your own router, have something that you could manage, control, grow, because just like my other unit, uh, you could add devices to this, whether it's wired, wireless, meshed, whatever. So this is nice. Uh, the newer model is actually cheaper. So this one's going right now for $200. The other model is $300. And as soon as I ordered this, it's out, it's out of stock already. These things are flying. And what's interesting about this model is it has a little slot for a memory card. So if you want, you can use this not only as the um, firewall, you know, the, the network. If you went with their cameras, and again, their cameras, uh, you could set this up as your security appliance as well uh, your your nvr i believe it's called and that memory card will store all your videos and everything from your security cameras so i believe unlike mine that i could set up like four or five different things i could set up you know just internet network security uh door access a few other things i believe this only does two at the same time you have the switch here where two of the ports actually also provide power. So if you have certain devices that you could plug in here that could also power that device, I have uh, switches, access points, um, security cameras. So like with one of the security cameras, you plug it right into this, and I'll probably test that. It should not only provide the data connection, but power and everything to that camera. And it's smaller. It doesn't look as crazy as my other one. It's a nice tabletop model. So I'm going to, I'm not going to set it up, but I'm going to at least open it and look at it. Then I'll probably create a, a video for YouTube, uh, edit some of this into it, and probably show the setup. But right now, I just want to open it. Because make it easier to open it now than later and I have this crazy idea of trying to set this up as a mobile uh, setup so like for people that go around to events or whatever and they could actually set up like you I mean I don't know if you want to use something like this if you're just gonna be walking around but if you could set up like set up a little table uh, and you're going to do some streaming, something like this might be useful because you can't really trust uh, the internet you're going to use on the street. Now, yes, this is not going to have internet itself, but it's still a network connection. So if you set this thing up, you connect, let's say like right now I got three Mevo cameras. If I set them up to be on the same network, you don't need data for this to connect. And then I wire this to my computer. They're all going to be able to communicate through the network networks do not need internet internet is for communicating outside of your network your internal network or your land local area network does not require internet so it's a nice little dome looking thing it's got a screen in the front oh wow that smell Whew. And then you got your slot here. I don't know if you need a tool for that or you just push on it. Uh, I think you just stick the card in. I don't think anything comes out. I mean, it would be nice if they had a like a 4, 5G, not 4G. Let's not get older. Like a 5G something slot that you could just put a SIM card <laughs> right into it. That would be cool. Maybe in their next model. So there's that. 
and some other stuff and a cable and I should probably have cables laying around so I don't want to mess up my cable I'll use a different cable when I plug it in but this is it's funny that people that deal with business networks going from residential to business you find out that businesses will utilize one device for every job residential normally they put everything in one box it's funny that this is considered more of a prosumer device but yet they're putting everything in one unit so this is your network your switch your wireless all in one so yeah let me see if I got a cable laying around. If not, I'd probably use the new one. The camera. So we got it right over here. I'm going to plug it into the back. And again, when I crawl underneath the desk... Oh, wrong one. Too many cameras. When I crawl underneath the desk to plug this in, I'm going to plug that data cable first. So, give me a sec. All right, now it's technically not recommended, I think, to connect a unified device to another unified device. We're gonna find out, because <laughs> they're, they're two routers. Sometimes having two routers is not a good thing, but we'll see. All right, so I just plugged it in. Let's move to this camera. You can see it's got this little light on the top going you got the little image going there should probably zoom in and it's saying two percent three percent says so it's going through some stuff I'm gonna bring down my phone because I got it set up as a, a camera right now just because I like to play with too many things All right, because I have an app that installs these. And I have to decide, uh, hopefully, how I'm going to do this. So hold on, let me, let me think for a second here. I might be able to add the screen. Let me see if I can add the screen on here. But at some point, I'm hoping that the screen is just gonna pop up saying if I wanna set up. Oh, wait, I found it. This is what I love about this device. Let me shrink this down. Bring this up. So it's already saying new console found. We're going to do the setup. Uh, there's already a connection. I guess it's trying to communicate. Noise is normally a good thing saying no internet detected and it might be because I'm connecting to the same network I'm already on so I might have to switch it over to the um, my other network the uh, T-Mobile 
just for this part. So it doesn't look like it's able to get a network connection. So we're just gonna see what happens and it failed. So let me move some cables around. Oh, looks like it might be good. Now it's telling me to name it and stuff. Ready for setup. So it, it must not have liked the switch. Uh, the name, we're just gonna leave it Dream Router. Wi-Fi setup, we're gonna leave everything basic. Uh, if I could just hit next on everything, I'm just gonna hit next on anything. No, it wants us to make one. We'll do something real generic. Um, password. I'm just going to put password for now. So, password's going to be password. Again, I'm going to change all this uh, later. We're not going to skip the firmware update. Uh, this is going to be a long video, but I will chop it down for YouTube. And I mean, once this is set up, you could go in, you could change the name of the, the network, you could change your passwords, you could change a bunch of things. All right, so now it's going to update the firmware. So we'll just let that update do what it's going to do. All right, let's go back to here. So it says connect to your dream router. Okay. Uh, do I want to? Let's do it. Join network now. Okay. Un unable to join. Why? We'll figure it out. We'll skip that part. I don't think I need to be on the same network to actually look at it and stuff. I'll figure out why it seems to be giving any kind of issue. But I like the little screen. The little screen's giving some information. It's trying to connect to the router. And now it did. All right. So that's the new router. And we could do a speed test. I'm going to go ahead and do a speed test right now. I'm a little surprised with the speeds because it should be connected to the T-Mobile box. And the T-Mobile box speeds were crap. See, now I'm getting the crappy speeds. This makes more sense now. All right, that makes more sense. And I'm just going to set these to 20 and 20. Horrible for this device. Uh, for, for the T-Mobile, I'm saying. All right, now we're going to save 20 and 20. All right, and we got the topology, which is only the router. Devices, which is only the router. It says no clients, so there's no clients connected. So yeah, wait, yeah, one device because it's the router. All right, that's it. So if we go in here, uh, you'll see you got the number five, which is the internet coming in. One through four is blank. Get some information of the device. That's overview, click on insight. So I got the 2.4 gigahertz, which is on channel six to five gigahertz, which is on 42. Leave the name alone for now. LED is on radios. Let's look at the radios. Use global, global app settings, no, 2.45. 
enable meshing, that's fine. Man staring, I don't care about you. Connect to other access points. No, leave all this alone. Leave everything on automatic, that's fine. So this is basically all set up. I'm gonna dig into it a little deeper. Uh, default network. Uh, the default network, router, IP information. And I'm not worried about these numbers because that's, again, it's the T-Mobile. That's going to probably be unplugged. I'm not concerned with that. Let's check the Wi-Fi. It says unified. So this is the Wi-Fi. Name is unified. Password is password. Network is default. All access points, pause, remove, 2.5, 2. Wi-Fi type is standard uh, we'll leave all this other stuff alone bandwidth profile is default that's fine I'll leave all this alone for now security ooh security protocol whip us two all right and then let me Okay, so it is showing both of mine. So it's got mine and this other one. So I wanted to make sure I saw that. Let's go into Wi-Fi. Right. Let's try to do a little speed test. And again, it's going to be horrible because it's connected to T-Mobile. I expect it to be horrible. It's a little bit better than earlier. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it into the other room, plug it straight into the Comcast modem, and then we could play from there. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. Let me, let me delete that because I don't want to mess up my results so most of my results are from that t-mobile by itself so i'm gonna unplug it take it to the other room plug it into the comcast and then we're really gonna check it out all right so i plugged it in in my other room so it's straight to the comcast box now which seems to be a little bit more normal. It looks like it was having some problems. It's probably gonna show that there's a client now. Yes, that's my phone. So it looks like it finally settled, but I'm gonna be really kind of curious to the speeds because I would expect a little bit more, but again, this is their, their lower priced model. The speeds have actually gotten better. So I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. All right. So that looks better. Everything looks good. Okay. Inside information. Yeah. So looks like everything's connected to it better. I'm going to play with it. I'm going to adjust a few things. I'm going to tweak some things. I'm actually going to see if I could somehow add it to my current network. That'll be weird. <laughs> Two routers together. It's probably a bad idea. All right, that's it for this video. I'm going to probably chop it up a couple times, see what I can make out of it.